August 21st of 1986 was another beautiful day at Lake Nyos in northwestern Cameroon of West Africa. No one would have suspected the devastating perishing of an entire village that would occur later that night. With absolutely no signs of explosion, gore, or struggle, what could have caused this tragedy? This is the question that baffled scientists for months. And the answer? Carbon dioxide from their very own beautiful Lake Nyos. Lake Nyos is actually a large crater created from subterranean volcanic activity. These crater lakes contain large quantities of carbon dioxide from underground magma which is released through vents and porous rocks that feed into the lakes. This creates some excess carbon dioxide in the depths of the lake. Actually, a lot of carbon dioxide. It got to the point where 5 gallons of pressurized CO2 was dissolved in each gallon of water. This carbon dioxide accumulated over centuries to create an extremely high pressurized pocket of carbon dioxide gas at the bottom of the lake which made Lake Nyos a ticking time bomb waiting for disaster. When the eruption finally occurred, a thick white cloud of carbon dioxide seeped into nearby villages displacing the normal air within a 25 kilometer radius of the lake, suffocating all 1,746 people in their sleep. Now let's get into the science of things. What is carbon dioxide and how is it formed? Most of us just think of soft drinks when it comes to CO2, but it's much more than that. Carbon dioxide is a nonpolar linear covalent molecule composed of two oxygen atoms bonded to a single carbon atom. Carbon dioxide is made through complete combustion reactions, typically following the formula of a hydrocarbon atom and an oxygen atom reacting to form water and carbon dioxide. It's odorless and more dense than air, making it stay low to the ground and capable of seeping into the village. But things have looked up for the people of Lake Nyos over the past 30 years. Since the eruption, several feasibility studies have been conducted about preventative methods like degassing tubes, pipes, and pumps, which have also been installed in the lake. Also, just this past year, the Cameroon government has finally deemed it safe for the region to be re-inhibited so Lake Nyos can finally be called home once again.